and I want to acknowledge and be grateful for the land that we stand on, this land that's been stolen from the Lekwungen peoples. I'm honored and privileged to be a guest on this land and uh, suffering only from first world problems. So I'm really happy that everyone here has, you know, sacrificed a bit of their gardening time or a bit of their soccer time or what have you to come here and just stand up and speak out for Palestine. Thank you so much. So I thought I'd recite uh, a poem today, and it's actually a string of three excerpts from three different Palestinian poets across three different generations. I'm a third generation Palestinian refugee. This is a fourth generation Palestinian refugee. And um, you can see the, the tradition and the common themes that uh, go across these three poems across the generations. Uh, the first poet is Mahmoud Darwish, probably the most famous Palestinian poet. The second is Mus'ab to Abu Toha, who has recently fled Gaza after being kidnapped and tortured by the Zionist terrorist army. And uh, he has a full account of his story in the New Yorker magazine. You can look him up, wow. Mus'ab Abu Toha. And the last poem is uh, by Fadwa Tuqan, who is a female, probably the most prominent female Palestinian poet. Um, I'm going to read the, the poems uh, straight up, yeah, and you'll notice the common themes are love of the land, death, and rebirth. I'll start with Mahmoud Darwish, then Fadwa, and finally Mus'ab Abu Toha. In Jerusalem. In Jerusalem, and I mean within the ancient walls, I walk from one epoch to another without a memory to guide me. The prophets over there divide amongst themselves the history of the holy, ascending to heaven and returning less discouraged and melancholy because love and peace are holy and love and peace are coming to town. I was walking down a slope and obsessing, how do the narrators disagree over what light said about a stone? Is it from a dimly lit stone that wars flare up? I walk in my sleep, I stare in my sleep. I see no one behind me, I see no one ahead of me. All this light is for me. I walk, I become lighter, I fly, then I become another, transfigured. Words sprout like grass from Isaiah's messenger mouth. If you don't believe, you won't be safe. I walk as if I were another, and my wounds a white biblical rose, and my hands like two doves on the cross, hovering and carrying the earth. I don't walk, I fly, I become another transfigured. No place and no time, so who am I? I am not I in the presence of the ascension. But I think to myself, alone, the Prophet Muhammad spoke classical Arabic, وَمَاذَا بَعْتْ And then what? Then what? A wooden soldier shouted, Is that you again? Didn't I kill you? I said, Yes, you killed me. And I, like you, forgot to die. Enough for me to die on her earth, be buried in her, to melt and vanish into her soil, then sprout forth as a flower, played with by a child from my country. Enough for me to remain in my country's embrace, to be in her, close as a handful of dust, a sprig of grass, a flower. And when we die, our bones will continue to grow, to reach and intertwine with the roots of the olive and orange trees, to bathe in the sweet Yaffa Sea. One day, we will be born again when you're not there, because this land knows us, 
She is our mother. When we die, we're just resting in her womb until the darkness is cleared. Thank you, everyone. Yeah.